All right, so we created uh, our first data model of a simple user. And uh, it looks, mo most, most of it looks just like a plain old Java object. And that's the, in that's the intention, right? That this looks as, as much as possible as just as a simple Java class, right? Uh, only only uh, these annotations uh, make it look somewhat weird, right? Other than that, you could treat this as a just plain old Java class. Right? You, can be, you should be able to instantiate them uh, and use them wherever you use a plain, a plain Java object. Uh, but but uh, this this uh, the the only thing that it's that is uh, perhaps weird uh, here that is not very Java like is that it has that ID, right? Uh, it's kind of redundant in Java that you have a unique identifier since an object already is unique, right? There's no there's a, it already has its own identity. Uh, this ID here, this uh, primary key that we've created, is only uh, to the um, added here to the fact, because of the fact that this is going to be mapped with some relational uh, database that uh, has to f uh, provide a unique identifier, OK? Uh, anyway, so we want to uh, interact with this uh, user. Uh, so the way we could interact with the user is that we will need, we will need some object uh, that will provide all the CRUD operations, right? So we, want, we don't want to have to write uh, our own DAO, data access object, right? So instead, we want someone to write it for us. And uh, if you remember, uh, la last class we talked about this a generic uh, DAO, right? That provided all the API for us. You know, we created all the finders. It created, all, it had all the create, right? Th that's that's the kind of object we want. We had to build it for ourselves, right? Uh, but you know, we, we ideally this this object would give us access to everything. Right? So so the 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 concept of that generic um, uh, data access object, right, is encapsulated by uh, uh, several interfaces that are implemented by JPA that, allow, that already provide all that functionality. Right? And, and they are referred to, in general, they're referred to as repositories or data repositories right? that, that implements uh, all, all the CRUD operations uh, that allow us to interact with these. Right? So let's create a, our first uh, repository uh, in a package called reposi and in this particular case, it will be the user repository. Right. Actually, it's not a class. It's in an interface. So let's uh, change this to an interface. That is going to extend an existing uh, interface in extends uh, CRUD repository. So CRUD repository is a repository that is provided for us uh, that already implements the mo most basic um, uh, CRUD operations. Right? So already we have a find all, find by ID, um, delete, uh, create, or save. Uh, there's an update. Right? So everything is there for us to do all the basic stuff so we don't have to write it from scratch. Okay? Uh, and it needs it needs configuration. So what am I creating? I, you, I need to tell you. I, I need, we need to tell it what is it that you're creating. You're creating, or finding, or or retrieving, or deleting. You're creating uh, uh, users, right? So so that's that's how you you uh, you uh, configure it. It'll need to import the user. Well, also it also wants to know. Uh, what is the primary key? What's the data type of the primary key? Because it needs to be able to uniquely identify and do queries, right, and do joins. It needs to be able to know what, are the, what, what is the data type of, this, of the primary key. Uh, so we'll, we'll tell it that it's an integer. It needs to be the, uh, the, the class version of the primitive data type. So not int, but integer. Or if you're using long, it would be L, the, the capital L-O-N-G, not the lowercase one. Uh, so what, whatever, you're, whatever you're using as a primary key, you, you need to have the, um, uh, the class version of it, not the uh, primitive data type version of it. Uh, there you go. So that's it. That's all we need. Right? This, this already implements all the finders. Uh, most of them, you know, find all, find one, find by primary key, uh, uh, the, the delete, the save uh, the, uh, are implemented there. Uh, if, we, if we need to implement other things, Right, that are not implemented by the, uh, by the default CRUD implementation, we would declare them here. For instance, if you want to find them by highest salary or whoever was 
uh, hired in the last month, you know, queries like that, uh, you would declare them here and implement the uh, query that you would use. You implement that over here. Okay? Uh, we'll, we'll do that a, little, that a little later. Okay, so we have enough uh, to go on. Um, we need to be able to use this. Let's, let's play around with this. So to do that, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see. We can, we can create maybe a test. Here, let's uh, create a test. Uh, I think we have already a test here. So let's uh, let's do a um, uh, well. Actually, let's uh, let's insert some some users so we can play around with them. Right? Let's do that. Let's go back to the database and let's um, let's uh, send here an insert. Uh, let's insert some folks here. So I don't want the IDs because that's going to be auto incremented. And so first name, let's see, we'll, we'll do um, uh, Alice for, so this is capital, Alice. And this is Wonderland. And for password is Alice and Alice. Okay. So let's uh, insert that. Uh, let's do the query again. Let's see if it's, uh, it's there. There we go. So Alice is in there. Let's add a couple more maybe. Uh, here, this is uh, Bob, Dylan, Bob, and Bob. Uh, first name here, maybe Charlie, Brown, Charlie, and Charlie. Apply. And it inserts those three. Excellent. So we have three three users in there. So let's try to interact with them uh, from from here, right? So let's create in our test. Let's create a brand new test. Maybe let's copy this one, and we'll call it maybe uh, test user. There's a test user, and let's uh, test uh, find. So test find all users. And the way we use it, right, is it, all the operations will go through the, crud, through, through the repository. Right? The repository is our generic DAO. Instead of creating our own DAO, the repository is our generic DAO. All right? So we'll need, we'll need, the, we'll need uh, the, the, that, um, that repository. And it's, uh, what is it called? A user repository. There it is. User repository, user repository, and uh, so we'll, we need a we need an instance of that, uh, and typically we would use a single si singleton design pattern, right? Well, this uh, the, the the repository already implements that uh, that mechanism, and we can use uh, auto wired. Auto wired will instantiate the uh, repository for us, right? And we'll we'll uh, inject it. Uh, as an instance in here, right? so we don't, we won't even have to instantiate it. We'll have the framework instantiated for us, and we'll inject it in here, right? So nice uh, inversion of control there. Another nice design pattern. Um, all right, now we can use the, the the user repository. We can say user repository. Dot. Let's take a look at what's in here. Let's uh, let's bring this up a little bit. See what we have. We have we, we have count, right? You know, how many are there? Right? This is going to do a select star count, right, uh, for us. Uh, we have delete. We have delete all. Right? So remove all the records. Uh, we can delete by ID, meaning give me a primary key, and I'll remove that one record, right? Uh, we have find all in there. Find all by ID. Find by ID. They're all there. You know, you can check to see if it's already in there. Is there is there a record with this ID? So all these operations are there. Notice that the names are very generic. Notice that the find all is generic. Right? The ones we would have written would have been find all users, or find all faculty, or find all courses. But this has to be generic. It doesn't really know what it's finding. Right? It has been configured uh, when it was instantiated, when it was declared at the interface level. And, uh, and, and so uh, let's... Uh, let's uh, um, Let's uh, store it in a list of users. Uh, we'll need to load that. Let's see. 
Uh, that's the user we want. Yep. And list. That's the list we want. Uh, and we'll need to cast it, right? So this uh, this doesn't return list of users, so we'll we'll cast it. So add a cast. There we go. Uh, and then we can just iterate over this. So we can say maybe for user user in users, and maybe just do a system that out. And this is users dot get first name. All right, so let's try it out. Let's run this. Let's see if this blows up. Maybe. There it is, right? We have Alice, Bob, and Charlie, right? So, so it, it is working, right? It's connecting and retrieving all the fields. Notice that we didn't have to do a connection. Uh, get a statement or, or convert and instantiate these objects, or it already, it already does the map, it instantiates for us. What it does is it, uh, it uh, instantiates the user and then uses all the setter methods, right, to, to, uh, to call all the set, the set first name, set last name, set username, set password, uh, and, and it populates the object for us, right, automatically. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's uh, play around this uh, a little further. Let's move this over. Uh, we did insert a couple of users. We did test it, uh, the, uh, the axis. Uh, we did find all users. Let's do another one, test find user by ID. Let's do that one as well. So let's see, this, uh, it's another test. So public void test find user by ID. And this is a user, user, and we can do the user repository, find by ID. And if we know the ID of Alice, I think Alice was number one. Is that right? Alice is number one. Uh, and uh, now, the find all by ID, if you hover over it, notice that it'll say that it cannot, it cannot, um, uh, it cannot write a, oh wait, I'm sorry, not all by ID. Find, just find by ID. Find by ID, there we go, one. Notice that uh, it has, uh, it's complaining uh, that it, it, cannot, it cannot cast it to, to a user, right? Instead, what this returns is a nullable object, meaning maybe Alice is not there, or somebody's, is, uh, that ID doesn't actually map to anybody, right? Uh, so instead of returning a null, it returns an object or, or a, a meta null, right, that uh, allows you to query it. You know, what happened? Why, why didn't you find it, right? Uh, so so this, uh, this object, this meta object, is, a, is an optional object, right, that you can query to see if it exists, it doesn't exist, what happened, right, not just null, okay? Uh, so, so, if I, if, um, so instead, what we should do is, is put this in an, obs in a, in an, in, as an optional, optional user, optional uh, I believe so, that's it. Uh, and then, and then uh, you, we can ask questions such as, you know, is if the user is present, right, that's a, that's a, a fancy way, are you null? Okay. Then you can take you can take uh, uh, you can you can take different different um, uh, actions, uh, or if you are if, if you know that uh, it exists, right? Then you can you can then uh, uh, retrieve the actual user, the actual user from the uh, optional user, get get actually retrieves the object once you're certain that it's not null, uh, and then you can print it out. Here's a system that out. and say user dot get first name. Right, so if we try it out, if we run these two. Test user. It should print Alice twice. Uh, 
There it is. So Alice is there. But notice uh, also what, what's useful here is that it displays the SQL that it used to retrieve the data. Right? So it was a, here's the select, uh, all the fields. It renamed the fields locally. Uh, so you could debug you know, the SQL that it's actually using. Right? And you can, you can affect it by other annotations on what, what uh, so you can, you can uh, uh, optimize your query. So it says, this is the query that I'm using to retrieve them all. And this is the one that I'm using to retrieve Alice. Right? This, is, this is the prepared statement that I'm using. Notice the ID at the end equal question mark. See that? That's the prepared statement that it's going to be using to retrieve that. All right, excellent. Let's move on. <laughs>